So, this is the last, the last bit. Wow. It'd be a long way down. And a long way up too. certainly an imposing structure, but Valve's team also wanted to make everything about it invasive. The combine wall surrounding it expanded into the city, demolishing buildings as the Citadel itself digs into the ground, creating a giant Oop. chasm. This scene was originally going to feature citizens atop the player, attacking the Citadel and firing rockets at it. However, it was later decided that it'd be better to have the player be alone, and evoke the feeling of a lone knight entering the fortress of his enemy. Mm. Oh shit, no, 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 ah! <laughs> The Citadel is certainly an imposing structure, but Val's team also wanted to make everything up. Yeah, we had that already, thanks. It's only weird. Weird building, I'll give it that. I mean, this is just odd. It's important to get the right side here. The light! The light! <sighs> Jeez, I love the white light, don't they? Tour now. Got strange cables and funny pods. I just realised the guy's name is the Lego Rat. That's doesn't make sense when it's all put together. <laughs> I always have that problem though. Up, up, up we go! Where we stop, nobody knows! The gunship repair bay glimpsed here is actually the only surviving bits of a level that was originally planned for Nova Prospect. 
The original repair bay sequence actually went through a lot of playtesting before it was cut. The level was also to feature movable cranes that the player would control, and naked gunships with their armor removed. As the player left the area, soldiers and antlions were to enter, creating a raging battle that was to ignite fuel lines, engulfing everything in flames. Oh. We're still going. And now comes the last mechanic of the game. And this was kind of fun. Also a bit annoying. Security alert. Unregistered weapons detected. Confiscation field engaged. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Hey! No, my guns! No! Ah. We have a two super Whoop. Wee, take that. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Hmm. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Today, many video games are far more than just games. They are experiences. While many still provide challenges, the challenge is not always the main focus. Today's games are about being immersed in the world, the narrative, the game's flow, and the sense of adventure. The long-time standard of a game becoming increasingly challenging as the game progresses is breaking down to a certain extent. Games mm -hmm. are now more commonly designed to keep pace with the player's growing skill, instead of always being one step ahead of it. Half-Life 2 does do this for the most part. However, the game's difficulty doesn't peak at the end. It takes a dive. Instead of the Citadel being a harsh and grueling challenge, the gravity gun is supercharged and this allows the player to plow through the Combine's last defenses. The Citadel is a very cold, soulless, and imposing place. And while it certainly keeps players on edge, the player's journey through the Citadel is more of a reward than a challenge. He's right though, this level's a load of fun. Come here, boys! Oh! <laughs> he dance at the band dance! Woo hoo 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 woo! Bye bye! Look out below! You'll also notice the uh, armor thing. The suit level goes to 200 now. Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think you might have been able to work together. Shut up! Atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. There you go. <laughs> I silenced him. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hmm. Whoosh! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Come to me, my lovely ears. But oh, I have the zappy button. He there 
There we go. That ain't coming back. It also charges the health up, so like you said, it's kind of a big reward in that it gives you easy health, easy armor, and a gun that pretty much do kicks the living shit out of everything. Your mentors are partly to blame, of course. My disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible. But while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the least troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act in such a willful disregard for humanity's future. Ah, can't see a damn thing. I don't know if man hacks being here. Maybe that's something new. Hunt! 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 Ow! Did I push that button? I can't remember now. Yes, I did. Ah, the lift's coming, I see. Right. Good. My health and art suit are not high. There we go. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. Created a whole lot of heap of bodies, a lot of explosions. Ooh, zap, zap, zap. Bump mapping is a method of adding the appearance of depth to a texture without having to render extra polygons in the game. It allows hmm. texture artists to determine how light hits a texture, creating the appearance of ripples, creases, or bumps on an otherwise smooth surface. This gives it a less flat appearance. Most of the bump maps for Half-Life 2 were made within a month, and were created using a polygonal render of the texture surface. Ooh. There you go kids, bump mapping in okay, one easy lesson. And we're jump, 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 and jump, and jump, and jump, and there you go. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. 
Some of the earliest concepts of the citadel's exterior depicted it as a mixture of European and alien architecture. While this approach was abandoned for the exterior, the interior was based on the totalitarian architecture of Nazi and communist regimes. What makes the citadel distinctly different, however, is a lack of symmetry, which is intended to create tension. Oh shit. Ow. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> hmm. I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. Ow. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Fuck! I forgot to do this bit. Uh... Ow. Ah, Woo -hoo -hoo. let's get out of here. Oof. I think it's supposed to kill it with those orbs, but since it kept killing me, I think I'll just leave it for now. <laughs> ah, this this thing again. Just one this time. The concept of the stalker started out with creatures that would follow the player in the shadows and then jump out. This idea wasn't really the final application for the stalkers, but they became even more horrifying as their visual design was worked out. They became captured humans who were gutted, amputated, weaponized, crazed, and mentally unstable slave laborers for the Combine. While they are technically enemies of the player, the fact that they are also victims made players pity them, creating a sense of moral ambiguity. This made them much more horrifying than the typical monster. Hmm, makes sense. And we're going up. Not a smart idea. You know, trapping yourself in one of these things. What are those things? Wow, we're high. 
high up. Look at that texture. <laughs> and we're loading. Loading, loading, loading. We are good at loading. Come on, loading faster. 